Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about healthy ketosis and intermittent fasting versus the South Beach diet. Okay, now the South Beach diet was very popular about 10 years ago. You don't really hear much about it now, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, first of all, they allow you to do six meals a day. Okay, right there, that's going to really spike insulin. Every time you eat, you spike insulin, you're going to, it's going to be a problem. But the reason why you're going to lose weight in phase one is because you're going to avoid the refined carbs, your fruit, and beans. Okay, so you're dropping your carbs, you're going to lose weight. And if people are used to junk and go to this, it's like, wow, I lost all this weight. Of course, they're going to recommend lean proteins, just like so many other diets. And the problem is the leaner you go, the more you spike insulin. Insulin is the hormone that will prevent you from losing weight. And of course, some healthy fats, but they're also recommending some unhealthy fats like Benacol, for example. That's hydrogenated soybean oil. That is not Healthy. That's a trans fat, but I don't know why they can claim on the label it's no trans fat when it has hydrogenated soybean oil, which by the way is GMO. And again, this diet is not focused on the quality of food. They don't mention organic or grass fed. It's mainly pretty much, you know, conventional. This is for 14 days, okay? So you're going to lose some weight. And then you go to phase two. Now, that's where you're going to add the fruit and one good carb vegetable starch, beans, fruit, whole grains. So they have to stick the grains back in there. You can have two servings of alcohol per week, okay? So what's gonna happen, and now your weight loss is gonna slow down. An average person will never hit their goal in 14 days, okay? They have a lot more to lose. So you're gonna go from here to here, and now the weight loss is gonna slow down, all right? And probably stop completely. And you're gonna probably go off the program and never go back on it. But then if you ever make it to phase three, you can pretty much eat anything you want, but in moderation. And that is the worst advice because as soon as you allow just a small amount of the wrong things, especially sugary foods and things like that, you're gonna completely raise insulin and block any potential of losing fat because the insulin is just too high. And again, they're gonna recommend six meals a day. Let's keep that insulin spiked. So this is why it's not popular because it's not a healthy diet. It's a diet that promotes insulin and it's not gonna last long. You're not gonna see it forever because it's not a long-term solution. What I'm gonna recommend is doing healthy keto and intermittent fasting, something that you can do as a, as a long-term healthy lifestyle. It's a long-term because you're allowing the fats in there. What we're not allowing is the frequency of eating. So when you're eating less, you can really heal insulin resistance. You can lower insulin and that diet allows you to consume more fat. So you're really satisfied. So you have no hunger, no cravings. And anytime you have that, you can do it long term. It's not that you're starving when you're doing intermittent fasting. You're basically living off your own fat. So intermittent fasting is not starving. You're actually eating something, but you're eating your own fat. So the meal that you're eating is your own body reserve. Okay, so that's, that's a way to go. If you stick in this diet, you'll never do it long enough to fix insulin resistance. So you're always running on sugar. So the blood sugar drops. Now you're going to be hungry. You're going to eat. And then because it's low fat protein, you're going to actually, it's going to, you're going to feel better when you eat, but it's going to drop again. Now you're hungry again and you never really hit your goal. Okay. So I'm going to put a link down below. If you want to learn more about this, uh, you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Hey, tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and comment below and give me your feedback.